Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, oh wait a minute. Okay, so those late night comments are having lots of fodder over everything. Well, oh, wait a minute, let's take our shoe off. Can I count to one? Oh, wait a minute. One. Wait a minute, how was it that they did that? Anyway. Yeah, he, he took both <laughs> sets of shoes off and oh. held both. He took both shoes off, sitting on a chair, and held all his fingers up, and they said, one. <laughs> Okay. It means that when the people on the left are laughing at you, you got a problem. See, that's just kind of how it is. Anyway, um, we have, oh, I guess we better bring old Kev on, right, for comments on the headlines of today. I know. Hey. And you go in and drink, no. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, I mean, we're going to talk to you about the greatest oxymoron in the history of mankind. The, Europe, the rest of the world is saying, that they're glad that the President of the United States has repeatedly insulted so many Republicans and called them racist and called them homophobes and say they're trying to hurt people, they're trying to destroy unions, they're trying to do this, and that he has to depend upon those people that he hates totally and have never even talked to to save the day for him. So it's the, it is over for the Republicans at the top of the food chain because they've been, they're gone because the party basically has told them, uh, in, here in no terms, civil terms, the President of the United States this morning made this appeal. He said there are times that you have to do what is best for the country and not as best for what the people that elected you to do. Okay. You know what Herbie Daddy said? The people that elected these Republicans are the country. The mm -hmm. same as the people that elected the Democrats are the country. And Obama blamed Bush and the Republicans for the problems in the Middle East. Oh yeah, he did that yesterday too. He, he said if George Bush and the Republicans hadn't made such a mess of everything with their attacks on Muslims, uh, oh, where oh, daddy is coming to bullet in. Who has been attacking Muslims every day since he became President of the United States? It was the gentleman in the White House who happens to have a Muslim name who happen to be kicking the ass of the people that aren't the same tribe that he is. It's called, it's called tit for tat, folks. Mm -hmm. If you're a Muslim, you tend to, uh, you know, I, I can assume that he would make a great tribal leader for his, his contingent if he, unfortunately, didn't have a white mommy. And <laughs> gay activists in Amsterdam protest a Russian policy. Um, basically, they support gay rights in Amsterdam, uh, in, 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 in and there, to an extent, it is called to an extent. As long as you don't try to force your views upon people, they don't care. They also don't care about the drug use and all that stuff. As long as you don't push your views. Uh, I remember an actor. Uh, uh, basically, he thought, "Well, I'm going to get out of the. I'm going to get out of the military because I'm going to be openly gay." Unfortunately, being openly gay in the military was not a good thing to do because. He didn't get out of the military. He just got punishment tours while he was there. So. Mm -hmm. And Obama's plan on Syria hinges on undecideds in Congress. <laughs> the undecided just got more. And they, they're not undecided. People that were supporting him Monday are not supporting him today because this guy. Okay, here's where it worked is. Um, he he's got a, He has no 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 plan for doing anything. He also now has boots on the ground, which he said was not going to happen. He's now going to use because the Russians are bringing in heavy missiles. I love this. Well, we don't take this seriously because it, you know he you know, their missile system isn't as good as our system, and they're they're going they don't have the time to train the people. Uh, uh, what is it? They got a whole. A whole landing craft full, full, full of Soviet soldiers to handle the equipment. So when Obama attacks, he's going to be attacking the Soviet Union because those are the people that are going to be setting on the missile defense system. Not Syrian soldiers, but Russian soldiers because Obama is a, wants to declare war on a sovereign nation that is not attacking us. And uh oh, what is it? The French government said we're not going to get involved unless the United Nations or the President of the United States can prove to us that the, that the Syrian government actually did what he says he did. Oh, and the pictures they discovered, some of those pictures are actually uh, Kurdish children that were killed under uh, Saddam Hussein. Mm -hmm. it's just, isn't that amazing how that happened? They think that maybe the videos may be from that area also. And the Voting Rights Act decision is a clear example of judicial activism. Well, yeah. What it amounts to is the people on the left saying, 
this judicial activism because they struck it down. No, they didn't strike anything down. What they did was they said, this is not 60 years ago. It is time to go back to Congress and rewrite it. That's not, that, okay, that has nothing to do with judicial activism. They kicked the can back to the people that wrote it and told them, you know, get it in tune with this century. That mm -hmm. is not, it's just like, a, Things today are not the same. First of all, there are more Afro-Americans. We have a Spanish population. We have a lot that is not the same. It was, you know, it's just like they constantly retune things in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Only Congress has a right to go back and change a bill. And the court basically said, the bill is just not right for the 2013. Fix it. That's not a big deal. All they got to do, remember, oh, I know why. Oh, oh, you know why? Because who passed the Voting Rights Act? Mm -hmm. It wasn't Democrats. It was Republicans. Uh, and you can't count on those Republicans now to revise it. And should undocumented immigrants get a law license, a California court to decide? No. What? He's not, he's not <laughs> what is that? Like? He cannot practice. A person that is not here legally cannot practice law in the United States. Because, first of all, the way it works is oh, I broke the law. I'm going to get a license to practice law that I don't support. They don't generally give people that broke laws licenses to do law in any state. Mm -hmm. And British Prime Minister feeling the heat on Syria snub. Oh yeah, because he came within that amount of being thrown out of office. He really thought... Well, well, wait, 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 what did he do? Uh, he basically, what happened was... Uh, the, the House of Commons had their own vote and said no. If it went to the Parliament also, he would have had to call elections within 60 days because it's a vote of no confidence. They basically said, well, the hell with this. We're going, to, we're going to tell this man we do not want to get involved in a battle in Syria in which you cannot provide any evidence that the people did anything wrong. It's also, as this morning, I mean, they're going to do a big battle this morning on on one of the news networks, he said, are you telling me that the 110,000 people that were killed before have no value and only people that you say, that you say, which you cannot prove were, he said, I can prove 110,000 people were killed in battle. You can't prove that 1,400 people were killed by gas. Mm -hmm. And he said that my 110,000 I can prove isn't as important as the 1,400 you can't prove. And that, that's what's going on, mm -hmm. folks. <laughs> yeah. And the um, the British Prime Minister was not the only one. Obama snubbed. Well, actually, Obama was snubbed by the Russians. Yeah, <laughs> Obama was snubbed. He met by Putin. Putin. Yeah, he did meet Putin for a few for a few minutes. And uh, anybody remember when the uh, the gov when he basically insulted the governor of Arizona, and she's a school teacher, and she did the school teacher finger in the chest. Putin was like this at him. To Obama? And this morning, the market market fell by over 160 points when Putin says, uh, you're going to have to go through us if you tax, if you tax mm -hmm. Syria. And that's when all of the markets started going, you know, and when Obama come out and basically started backpedaling on things, well, I never personally said we were going to use long-range bombers. I never personally said that we approve of troops on the ground. All of these things, but the problem comes is that they are planning to use long-range bombers because they are above the missile defense system and they have boots on the ground. Well, not as many because they're evacuating Lebanon now, so and, they're there. And the next, tra oh, and the next Transformers movie will probably have robot dinosaurs in it and more. Yeah, well, I understand they're going to have a gay robot now. What? <laughs> A gay robot yeah. or a gay dinosaur? A gay, no, it's got to be a gay transformer, you know. Oh. There is no market for gay movies in the whole world, folks, but we're going to do it in this country, which means the movie's not going to make any money. And House Speaker John Boehner, would resigning be a smart move? Yeah, because they're going to throw him. He, he's not going, they're going to throw him out. The problem is they're probably going to throw him out in a 214 election because they're fed up with him and McConnell. They said, well... They could put those seats in danger. No, because they're heavily Republican. I mean, Kentucky's heavily Republican, and his district is wall-to-wall -wall Republican, so they're just kind of put in people. Oh, what did Herbie Daddy said? Uh, when you're told by the people that elected you not to do something and you continually do it, they tend to throw you out of office? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, this one's really simple. 
1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 5 plus 5 equals 10. It doesn't equal 1. Um,